Hi right, fellas, welcome back. I've came to see Gav and he's Hillman Imp. Bit unique mate, BMW motorbike engine yeah, in. Yeah. 1200 yeah. motorbike engine. 1200, K1200 RS, yeah. Built it all yourself? Yeah. Did you build it in your garage? Pretty much, yeah, with the help of a few friends, yeah. Cool thing, mine. Tiny as well, isn't it? It's, it's a small, small car. It is small, yeah, very small. How long's it been built? Um, so I started building it in 2014, got it on the road for its first MOT in 2016, and it's just been ongoing since then. You were seeing compared with standard imp, it looks just totally different, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. The, the, the body works pretty much there, although it would have had bumpers and trim and, and what have you. Um, obviously, we've rolled the arches and put the, the chin spoiler on it and what have you, a few subtle bits and pieces. But yeah, apart from that, it's been pretty heavily modified. So it would have had like little chrome bumpers or something? Yeah, chrome bumpers, chrome side strips. It would have had a like a, a chrome strip between the headlights as well uh, to break their front up a little bit. What, like a grill? Yeah, a bit like a grill, just a, yeah, just sort a bit of, of a, deck a cro yeah, chrome trim with Hillman written on it. That's I like the front mind with a little chin, little yeah. chin spoiler on yeah. that. It is quite functional because they're quite light on the front end as well. So the engine's in the back, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll see a, a lot of people that say had one of these or know somebody that had one of these, they all tell you the old stories about putting sandbags or concrete in the front. <laughs> I'll take, it the front. Pinch of salt. Yeah, take it with a pinch of salt because the front was the boot on top of the fuel tank. Can we put the, the back end? Yeah, we'll the engine. Absolutely. Clean under here as well, isn't it? We try, we try. <sighs> Gets a bit dusty when you're going out and about places, but yeah, it's, it's, all right, that it's man. clean. This is a 1200 BMW K1200 RS. Yeah, it'll be like a, a touring BMW motorbike. Or is it like a boxer engine, like a, a it's, it's on its four side, cylinder. it's four cylinder on its side, yeah, it's not, not a boxer. It's, it's not uh, a boxer? Yeah, it's not a boxer. So is this the crank end? That is the crank end, yeah. And then you've got your cams yeah, and that on this it. end? Yeah, that's it, 16 valve. And you're seeing this is an oil cooler, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's an original Hillman Imp Sport oil cooler, because the, the K1200 also had an oil cooler, so they, you know, just married that up, so that's one original Imp part, and, and the other bit is the, uh, the, the way the inlet manifold goes on, so you've got four, um, what was Hillman Imp oil filling X or four Hillman Imp engines to keep that a little bit original as well. They uh -huh. want the throttle bodies to, to get the throttle bodies over to make it work in the car. Still running the gay box as well, Hillman Imp gay box? Got the Imp gay box, yeah. Is it four speed? Four speed, with, with reverse, which is good for having a bike motor. And you were saying it's quite a torquey engine, this yeah, one, isn't quite it? Yeah, they're quite torquey. Not exactly how much, but compared to putting like a, a lot of the sport bike motors in, yeah, it's quite a torquey engine. They go really well in the car. Did you buy a motorbike and strip it? Or? No, I bought, bought the, all the bits that I needed for a BMW Did breakers. You? It came with a warranty, but a lot of the lads that have done a, a similar conversion, they'll buy a full bike and then strip the bits off it and obviously sell the parts that, that uh, come with it because you can break out some of the cost, yeah. Can we show people under the bonnet and show yeah, people what's there? Class, so fuel tank, obviously not, not standard. No, <laughs> foam filled fuel tank and a, like a, a cage that was, was built for that for the car, which obviously doubles up as a strut brace as well. Um, that's enabled me to hang all these other bits off it like a horn electric washer pump because it would have only had a little uh, like little pumpy little washer pump like the old cars did um, that wasn't electric so put all that Oh on like it. a foot pump? Yeah it, went, yeah, it was on the, actually on the uh, on the switch itself which is still in the car you can still actually push it so into the car. So you push it and pump your squares? Yeah you got to pump your squares yeah. <laughs> so it changed all that but it means putting that onto the frame means that I've not had to um, make, change, make any changes to the body as such. So, so what's this? Because originally I thought that's just a corn filter, but obviously no, it won't be, will it? No, it's a, that's a heater blower. That's the blower is motor. Is that what it is? Yeah, so the blower motor is actually inside there, and then that, that's what's providing you, um, your, your air. So that's been moved slightly. It would have come from the box where the grill is originally, but obviously we've got a radiator down there now, so it's had to be moved slightly. So you've got your radiator there, so obviously you've just piped up. Yeah, it goes through, through the through inside the of the car to the back. That's the safest way to do it. You can put the pipes underneath, but they're... Uh, if you hit a carry bag, vulnerable uh, underneath there because it does sit quite low. Hit a carry bag or something, couldn't it? Or could just rip it open and. <laughs> can we go for a drive? Of course we can. Class. So have you had a rolling road or anything since? Uh, not no. yet. I, I think I would give them the opportunity, but not. Um, just never. Never had the never, time. Never come across the, uh, the need to do it yet, so I would. What way is the tight you go on? What was it? What wheels and tires? Oh, wheels, sorry. Alley cats. So the, the replica alley cats. The 13 by 7s. So they fit nicely under the arches. They've got some spaces on the back. Um, just nan tyres. Nan-kang tyres. So, no. Yeah, it's not too bad. I noticed you had gas coilovers as well. Yeah, I've got gas coilovers on the front, but not on the back because the springs and shocks are separate. Right. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit um, difficult to lower the back end, so it's went to the lowest springs possible. Tiny little car, this as well, yeah. isn't it? Have you had it weird? 
Uh, no, it should should weigh somewhere between 700 and 750 kilos. Not not bad on the weight side of things. Definitely not. Obviously, we've lost a few bits like the back seats and the uh, the bumpers and what have you, but we've gained a few bits like the roll cage and what have you. So probably uh, a bit, probably half a bit, an inch. Yeah, probably a bit of give and take. Did you break the cage or was it poor? Well, it was, I bought it off somebody that, uh, that had it in a, another imp, it was in an imp coupe, so they did like a, a fastback model, um, like a, in California, and they, they badged it as other things as well. These saloons, this is Costa Saloon, they've got an opening rear window, so you would have put some of your luggage in the back, you can you can open that up. And um, that's quite a, a quirky feature, but the, the, the fastback ones didn't have that. that a Mini drives absolutely great then. The only car that I've ever driven that, that feels like a car on the car track. Do you like Minis then? Yeah, I like Minis oh. as well. There are a few. I've, I've never had one, I've only driven other the but right. um, the, you know, these these are just a different drive, like a different alternative. And there were the, uh, the arch enemy of the Mini, they just never made it as well. <laughs> what year is the car then? 74. 74, yeah, yeah, 74. Can he agent? Is it yeah. tax exempt? Yeah, it's tax exempt, MOT exempt, but I still get it done. Good, good piece of mind to have somebody else look over it. Um, Do you still get an MOT certificate as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get something pretty handy as well though. Yeah. Like with cars, obviously building this yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it with, uh, some friends helped me out, like uh, a couple of close pals, just as a bit of a hobby. You know, I don't think I could do it full time, but uh, I enjoy doing it. So what you do, get in the garage and mess yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. You get that uh, sense of achievement, don't you, when you when you do stuff, and you you, you take yourself out to uh, deal with frustration as well when things go wrong along the way, and you think, uh, <laughs> gotta learn to walk away, and go back, and I think well, uh, once you master that, and you learn that that's part of the uh, the process, it's not too bad. It's something to think about as well when you work the winner if you've got a problem. Yeah, and research is something to keep your mind going. Exactly, work out how to how solve it differently, like a puzzle. puzzle. Wrong, yeah. How much do you think you've got in the car at the minute? Probably about 15. Oh, yeah. Around, yeah, yeah, start. And I think if you commission somebody to do it for you, ah, you can put another expensive. 10, 15 onto it. But, it, you know, and it, its value is not far off what it's had put into it, ah. luckily. So. The pipes on the floor, well, from the mediator, yeah. keep me feet nice and warm. <laughs> Which isn't ideal in the middle of July when it's 30 degrees or something. Ah. You can open all the windows, I've got a little thing to open that back window as well. My keep girlfriend will be able to move with them to keep my toes warm. <laughs> so I've got cold feet. How fast do you have outfits? Uh, hard to say really, because the clock's not that accurate. Right. It's got a 10 mile an hour out. Let's just say it'll do more work speed. Ah, I bet we'll do it pretty well, it'll stay there. <laughs> Do you know where the key box pops out at? Get it free. Oh, oh, I've never actually done it. Yeah, it won't be that, that, that mega really. No, that was the big original key box. Still all the original ratios and stuff like that. Yeah, he's on the box, on this box, yeah. So you might as well get 120 or something? I wouldn't even say you'd probably get that. No? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, push. Right. Is that 
four thirty there. That's twelve, yeah. Well, you put them there about four thousand revs. That will be about that, yeah. And about fifty, sixty mile yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'll find it, find it. So they see anywhere. How did you connect the BMW gay box to the imp? Sorry, sorry. How did you connect the BMW engine to the imp gay box? It's got a, an adapter bellows in for the imp gay box. And it's all CNC machine. Like and sport, but yeah, yeah. The, the dimmer is a kit, so the dimmer runs as a guy. It's called Clark Dawson. It's like a very big imp star, um, very renowned imp star, and he developed the, the conversion. And then he um, worked with an engineering company over in Carlisle, and they developed the, 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 the CNC right. um, billet um, adapter, and then a, a, like a, an adapter plate for the engine. It uses the original dim friction plate, a micro K10 uh, clutch cover, a Ford Pro uh, slave cylinder, um, and a, a VW input and shaft. Where it, um, as well, so there's, there's bits from all of the all sorts of the cars to do the conversion. The conversion kit, so yeah, come with there, uh, yeah, yeah, engine mount and stuff like that. So our engine mounts had to be done. So you only got one engine mount and then two gearbox mounts. So we've still got the two original gearbox mounts. So right. The one engine mount had to be fabricated off right. the right motor, which you I got Clark, that. I got Clark to do it for me. Right. Could have done it. Clark had done a few and he, he did that as an extra for me himself. Can you weld? I, I, I can do a bit. One of my mates is better than me, but I'm, I did. Stick that together. Did, did the line share, yeah. yeah. Do you want to leave any links to your Instagram or anything like that? Any Facebook pages? Or? Yeah, I'll toss it. Yeah. Alright, I'll leave some links in the descriptions, fellas. Spot on. Thanks a lot for making up. That's See you soon, fellas. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, mate. I appreciate that. That's so fun, that. Yeah. Mint little car. Ah, oh, God, you like it.